say cheese. No. Yep, it's another Brexit deal, guys. Post-Brexit trade deal with Canada and pause to emit a row over beef and cheese. We're going to read into this more from Sky News, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from Sky News with the headline of post-Brexit trade talks with Canada paused amid a row over beef and cheese. The Canadians have expressed disappointment at the decision from the UK, but ministers at home say they will only negotiate deals that delivers for the British people. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share across social media so other people are notified of this video. So, another Brexit dividends here. Our talks with Canada are at a standstill. I wonder what it is, guys, that is not making us want... I wonder what it is that's causing this row, guys. You know, and the funny thing is, and we're going to read into it, obviously, um, Canada is still carrying on its trade deal with the EU. Funny that, but so for some reason now we're, 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 we're stalling with, uh, um, with them, but yet everything seems to be fine and rosy over there in the EU. And I wonder why, guys. We're going to read into this just in a moment. And guys, if you happen to hear a cat meowing in the background, don't worry about him. He's totally fine. He's just having one of his, he's just having one of those moments. So, negotiations to agree a post-Brexit trade deal between the UK and Canada have been paused amid an ongoing row over policies affecting beef and cheese. The countries have been holding talks for the past two years, while widely continuing to, tr to trade on EU terms in the interim. But this has allowed the UK to continue selling its cheese products without facing an import tax, which has caused anger among Canadian farmers. Ah, I see. So we're avoiding paying a tax because we're still pretend because we're still using the same using the EU terms here. Yeah, we should be paying more for the cheese is basically what the Canadians are arguing because we're no longer part of the European Union. That's essentially what this is about, guys. I'm sorry, don't you like it, Brexiteers, that we're a third, third nation now and that we should be paying more for things because we're not part of a single market? Did you not know that we have to pay more yet for certain trade deals because we don't have the same benefits that we had when we were part of the EU? Oh, no, you didn't know that. Oh, well, now you know. The agriculture sector also wants the UK to relax its bans on hormone-treated beef, but ministers are yet to move. Uh, no, we don't want to move that. We don't want to move that. An end to the talks will mean stricter rules on trade between the states, which concerns the UK's car industry, will now face large import taxes if selling in Canada. Richie Sunak's official spokesperson said the UK had no choice Importing the talks as ministers would only negotiate a deal that delivers for the British people. But Labour's shadow business secretary Jonathan Reynolds said it was another significant failure from the Conservatives to honour their promises, adding that this is another blow to the British economy because of Conservatives' incompetence. It is clear that they are unable to deliver what we need to get our economy growing. And the SNP trade spokesperson Richard Thompson said leaving the EU had damaged the UK's potential for global trade and that the failure to secure a trade deal was yet another broken promise in broken Brexit Britain. Yeah, this would this would not even be a discussion if this was before if we hadn't left the EU guys. This would not be a discussion. Yeah. And before people start shouting, oh, but what about the trade deals we've got with the CTPPP or the ones we've got with Australia and New Zealand? Yeah, they don't. Guys, if you actually read the trade deals in them, um, we don't really get anything from them. It's more, f it was more just to make it look like we've got, a, we're actually global Britain and that. Um, in the actual fact, is actually going to harm the UK economy in the lot, uh, harm the UK economy, especially our British farmers. Uh, those those deals as well. Did you not know that? Oh no, yeah, Brexit Britain, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Let's let's make let's let, let's rely more on in on imports instead of our own. Yeah, that's that's definitely sovereign there, isn't it? Posting on ex-Canada's trade minister, Mary NG said, our government will never agree to a deal that isn't good for our workers, farmers and businesses. Spokesperson for Mrs. Nag also revealed that the BBC 
to the BBC that she had expressed her disappointment that UK Business and Trade Secretary can be backing us over the end of the talks. Well, considering you're talking to her, it's it's not surprising that you you were gonna you were not gonna get a deal in your, you know, someone like her. She's not exactly a, the best negotiator, is she? They added that the UK's decision to continue to maintain market access barriers for our agriculture industry and unwillingness to reach a mutual agreement has only stalled negotiations. But a UK government spokesperson has said, we have always said we will only negotiate trade deals that will deliver for the British people. And we deserve the right to pause negotiations with any country if progress is not being made. We remain open to restart talks with Canada in the future to build a stronger trading relationship that benefits businesses and consumers on both sides of the Atlantic. The pause was welcomed by the president of the nation's farmers, the NFU. Uh, many balloters who told the BBC News it was absolutely essential that government sticks to its red lines over the ban on hormone traded beef. This is one thing I totally agree on. Yeah, we don't want hormone traded beef coming into the country. They need to keep on to that. She added, we've already damaged our economy and agricultural sector by fully liberalising trade deals with New Zealand and Australia. Ah, oh, funny that. I just said that, isn't it? Yeah. You know, that, how's that for a Brexit trade deal, you know? We have to take a strong line on this, and I'm pleased that we have over, otherwise... We're, pleased that we have, otherwise we would drive change that would never be rectified. But Commons Speaker Sir Lindsay Hawes criticised the government for failing to make a statement to Parliament about the end of the talks. Come on, Lindsay, have you not been paying attention by now? Nothing is said by you. Speaking in the chamber, I said, I will always say that it is amazing how quickly the government come to give good news. I just hope that they might reflect on briefing out overnight. As I have said, I always believe that this house should hear it first. And I am going to mock Lindsay Hoyle because he's a joke of a speaker. Yeah, there's no bottle whatsoever when it comes to... Um, uh, when it comes to being Speaker of that House. Rightly so. So what does this mean? Well, basically means is that, you know, uh, we're gonna, we, we, things are going to get... We're probably going to start getting less cheese, probably. In, um, not, and, you know, and people like their cheese here in the UK, believe it or not. It, it's a real shame that, that this would not have been happening. And we would have had more concessions if we were part of the EU. This is the thing that people need to understand. We would have had a much bigger hand if we were part of the EU, but we don't, we're on our own. Um, and um, while I appreciate the government obviously staying strong against hormone beef, we don't have much to uh, much to give to the Canadians, really. So it's it's really uh, going to be a tough. It's going really going to be a tough one. I'm interested to see how Labour will handle this, as um, if if it stalls all the way up. Excuse me, up to the general election. But another post Brexit trade deal talks that are uh, are not in good stead because of what we had initially and how many more are they going to be like this as well guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below so what do you think guys what what should be ha what should uh, are Britain right to stand stand firm on this could Britain give more consensus um, are Canada right on there and let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below if you can hit the like button, we greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are aware of this video. And hit that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And if you want to financially support me, you can do so by joining the YouTube membership for just as little as 99p, guys. It's only 99p to join and to support my work I do here. And also, you can get exclusive content on Patreon outside of YouTube. Yeah, you can get that for free, by the way, if you just create an account and join Patreon slash Regan Elite there as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.